Customer service. I am all about this topic this week. This is such an underrated part of business is being able to provide a good customer experience to the people that are paying you. And I used to think that if a customer had a problem with you, that it was like, just fire them, fire them as a customer. And then someone came in that was saying you're fired and that shifted the landscape. So here's my new theory. Your customer problems, the things that people are complaining about, the things that people are leaving bad reviews about, the things that people are asking you about or whining about or whatever verb you wanna put on it. Your customer service problems are actually showing you where your next level of growth is. So if customers are telling you that you're not paying enough attention to them, let's use that as an example. And your response to that is to ignore them <laughs> and act like it's not a problem. Then what is it that you're not paying attention to within yourself? Because there's a reason that these people are complaining about that. Because I, for example, I don't have that problem. I pay very close attention to each and every one of my clients. That's part of my job really, is I learn their voice, I write in their voice, that's what a copywriter does. And we're paying close attention to the things that their market is saying. So the people that their clients, the things that their clients are saying, I pay close attention to that and then we put that into the copywriting, the marketing, all that stuff. That's actually part of my job. So I'm paying lots of attention to each of my clients. So never in the history of my business has any client or customer said, hey, you're not paying enough attention to me. <laughs> it's almost like I'm paying too much attention to them. But if people are saying, hey, you're not paying attention to me, you're not valuing me as a customer, and it's pissing them off, maybe you are like not attending to their order or God forbid you took their money and then you didn't do the job. People actually do that today, crazy. But if you're basically not giving the customer or the client attention, what are you not paying attention to in yourself? What are you lying to yourself about? It always comes back to you. So the things that your customers or your clients are complaining about, instead of being victimized by that and putting the blame on them, saying they're entitled, they're whiny, they're whatever, insert adjective, insert noun, put it back on you. What are those customers revealing about you? Crazy concept.